Good operations in Abuja. And uh, foreign based players will be joining in later on. We must get it right. And, and the good thing is that CSA has given a lot of opportunity to players at home to make the squad. Yeah, he, he, he has done that and he, he has um, taken some of them uh, to the friendly in Brazil, in Rio. And, um, One it, of them, uh, 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 Obama Obama is, is now in, in Israel. Yeah, Makaba Haifa, a club that um, Yakubu Ayegbeni uh, used to play for. So I, I think uh, for CSA... Mm. And they would also be probably be going for the Toulon tournament. Yes, I, I think it's a key one for them. You know, usually they use the Toulon tournament as um, um, you know, prepare, a platform to prepare for major tournaments like the um, World Youth Championship and the football tournament of the Olympic Games. And some of the countries that have qualified for the football event of the Olympic Games uh, you know, have confirmed their uh, interest in participating at the Toulon tournament. So for, for, for me, Tony, I think we should be concerned basically about uh, our preparation, getting the players in camp early, playing top friendlies, and uh, shouldn't worry more about um, which country or which country that mm. we, we want to avoid. Because we're going we are, to be drawn against. We are, we, are going to be, we, we are already in port two. So what it means is that we are going to meet countries from port one, three, and four. And there, there are rumors that um, we may meet Brazil or Portugal <laughs> again. or Colombia. Um, <laughs> you know, these are some of the countries. <laughs> Brazil in, uh, again. In, 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 mm. in the other but ports. the only time we won the Olympic gold, uh, which is um, the first time an African country won it, was when we had Brazil in our group. If they're going to be bringing us the luck, let them be up to our group. Yeah, why After not? all, the fact that we play them in a the friendly will give the boys some confidence. Yeah, I agree with you, but uh, you also know that... Um, <laughs> it's a different ball game. A, a different the main between, tournament is a, a different, different ball between friendly and um, <laughs> match situations. So. Mm. But you can pick a lot of experience from you know, playing friendlies against top rated countries. Nigeria is going to the Olympic Games as African champions. And um, you know, they, they use the last five tournaments to also rate the Olympic team. And that is why um, Nigeria is in port two, um, not in port one. Mm. But the, the remaining African countries like Algeria and South Africa are in port three and four. So they are likely going to face tougher oppositions mm. than uh, Nigeria. Mm. We, we hope, uh, we wish Sam Sassia well. He, he, he has gone to Rio. Uh, the draw is coming up tomorrow, and um, whatever happens, I think um, the, stage, the stage is now set for our preparation at the Olympic Games. We need to get it right, prepare. And we have said and it get, on this and program. And can, you should get all the support from the Nigerian yeah, Football Federation. Yeah, I, I also read that um, the, the NFF are already making contact with some of the clubs, clubs you know, be, be, because the, the Olympic Games will start when the season in Europe will, will also commence. Mm. And, um, you know, uh, like we, we need to get our players. A player, a player like uh, Alex Uwobi, who is in Arsenal. You need to also talk to us. All the Euro based players. Yeah, all the Euro based players. Moses Simon, yeah, Isaac to Success, and, 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 and the good thing is that um, you know, the, 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 the talks are ongoing. And I hope that uh, to be fruitful so that uh, you know, our top retail players can participate in mm. the football event of the Olympic Games. Okay, let's quickly um, give you an update around the UEFA Champions League, gentlemen, and I tell you that um, uh, there's been a change. And uh, it looks like uh, um, that uh, tradition in the UEFA Champions League of defending champions not being able to successfully defend their crown um, is happening again. And uh, because Atletico Madrid have now scored a second goal from the penalty spot. They now lead Barcelona 2-0 on the night and 3-2 on aggregate. One goal will have been enough for Atletico Madrid, but they are not sitting um, on their one goal. They've scored a second and now they lead Barcelona by two goals to nil. And that gives them a 3-2 aggregate lead. Uh, on the night. So Barcelona will need to score one to drag this game into extra time and we are already in added time. We are already in added time. So that's a difficult one for Barcelona. They could be exiting the UEFA Champions League tonight. Uh, and the other game looks like it's done and dusted because Bayern and Benfica are playing out a 2-2. Uh, Benfica will need to score two more goals if they are going to be knocking out Bayern. Alright, so it's a very, very difficult one for Benfica. They still trail on aggregate, 2-3 um, to Bayern. And um, unless they are able to produce two goals in about two minutes, they could also be exiting the UEFA Champions League. For Benfica, they've punched above their weights. Um, they've really punched above their weight. Nobody is expecting that they would have played up to this level, but they've been able to do that uh, this season. All right, so that's how it is. Benf uh, Benfica looking like they're going out. And Barcelona, the defending champions, are also looking like they will be crashing out of the UEFA Champions League tonight. Oye, let's come back very quickly and talk about the Flying Eagles of Nigeria. Emmanuel Amunike and his boys are in camp. And um, the good thing is that um, a number of those boys um, have been showing the right kind of attitude. Victor Osime has arrived. He has joined the boys in camp. And they're preparing. They are currently having a screening exercise, but they are preparing for the game against Burundi next month. Yeah, um, 
you know, um, when, when you are the coach of the Flying Eagles, um, you, you have the luxury. Of the Golden Eagles team that won the World Cup. Of the Golden Eagles that won the World Cup. You know, the talents are there. But somehow, it also becomes a problem. Because we saw it, we observed it at the last, the last World Youth Championship. What problem did, did, did they encounter? You know, problem of uh, selection. You have mm. a lot of stars. Then you begin to wonder what kind of formation. How do I appease these stars? And it's a, it's How do a, I keep all the all top the players, players happy? You know, you know, the level players that will start the game. Uh, this manifested at the last World Youth Championship. So, Amunike has his um, job cut out for him. He has inherited the squad, a team that he led you know, from the Golden Eagles to win the Under-17 uh, FIFA World Cup. Uh, all the players are available for him. He's, he's making, you know, doing some screening to Looking see where, more players. where he can fortify the team. So um, I think it's a good one for him. And against Burundi, you know, it, it, you, know you, can't, you can't really underrate any team at this level. At this level of football. At this level, because you know little of them. You know, and they, they know so much about they know you. so much of uh, about our players. They they can go to the, the internet and get you know how our players uh, perform. Even what teams of what teams of World Cup. So we need to be coach. very very careful. We need to be focused and prepare well. And also the, the federation will assist the the coach to get you know tips about uh, the opponents. Mm. Uh, we, we wish them well because uh, we want these players to graduate. You know, make progression to the under twenty three team and, and to the Super Eagles. You know, make themselves available for the national team in the next 10, 15 years. And if, we, if, if that has, is achieved, then we, we, we can sit back and say we have, you know, a big squad that could take on against any opponent in the world. Mm. All right, I think uh, that's, that's the way to go. And uh, uh, take it one game at a time. No ti not time for us to begin to set targets of winning the under 20 World Cup for Emmanuel Lamonike. I think we need to take it one step at a time. Beat Burundi. Qualify for the African Under 20 Cup of Nations. Yeah, in Zambia um, next year. In, yeah, in Zambia next year. And then call, pick a World Cup ticket. Uh, we should be taking it stage by stage, step by step, and then see how far Emmanuel Lamonike and these boys will be um, able to go. All right. It's time for us to um, go on a quick break. Um, the two games in the UEFA Champions League, I told you before, are in added time. Uh, so we'll keep our eyes on them. Can anything still happen? Uh, in other time. We've seen stranger things happen in football, so we'll keep our eyes on those games. We'll be updating you with all of them as we go along on the show. It's time for us to go on a quick break now. This time we are taking you to Oweri. Um, Oye Wujwajuko is a supporter of Heartland of Oweri and uh, they hosted Rivers United um, on March day 11 of the Nigerian Professional Football League. It was a good game of football. Heartland winning that one by two goals to one. Enjoy the highlights. We'll come back and when we return, we'll be talking about the Nigerian Football Federation. The extraordinary congress that happened in Abuja uh, earlier today. Sides piling onto the pitch, ready for battle. They were out a little earlier, limbering up and warming up for this epic encounter. And here they are, just uh, getting ready to roll. Heartland, of course, in red and white. A little bit of a departure from their usual red outfit. And of course, Dolphins. Well, sorry, I beg your pardon. It's uh, now Rivers United uh, in blue with uh, red trimmings. The formality is being observed. That this well and truly looks like a game you want to watch from start to finish. Except that there's consultation going on between the first assistant and uh, the man in the middle. The center referee. Center referee, of course, Olushe Gualaba from Ogo State. And there we go. It is Hatland with the kick off the home side. Uh, getting things underway here. We've got the pass through. Emeka Tuloma. He knows how to place the ball. Emeko Bu is still there, looking for a chance and cutting across to get to it. Roland Kofi, it sends it across. It's not a bad one. And Hatland looking good now. Oh, very poor. And in the end, the goal has come. And it was rolled in there. Very good team move here. You can see the final touch. It was a boost with the initial shot. Premier, that he is, and uh, he ought to have won a corner kick. He indeed has won a corner kick. Full of trickery he is, <laughs> and uh, I, he just can't but admire his approach to the game. Even the home fans are clapping each time he has the ball. 